the tripod mode is enabled and we can record in that we can record in any other mode so let's say we record here in this mode it's not recording now. as we see the beauty of it it's amazing oh it reset it on its own but now it's probably ready to record let's try this again there we go we are recording so once this happens then with my little construction contraption here i can show this to you remember those um gimbals we had on those um what was it on those drones the initial the first drones we built ourselves with those where we needed a gimbal on there where we had to put a gimbal on there to hold the camera still and steady so this is what i use here as a suspension to lift it up the ground for the moment i don't have the right screws here this is a thermal take fan it comes with this power here it gets power from USB cord. I can show this here. Oh, so it has a temporary power here and gets get powered up through USB. Right? Here, let me plug this back in. And there we go. And then once we have it plugged in here, oh no, did I break it? What? What the heck just happened? My fan doesn't work anymore. There it goes. <gasps> wow. So, this gets powered by, by USB. And then I can change the speed. Here. Yeah. To, like, really wind going up. The reason why I have the space underneath is to be able to suck air on from underneath. Blow it up against the camera. This thing is never gonna overheat. A little unstable here now, but so if I have the feet a little higher, or if I make a bracket for a tripod, there is the airflow I need. So we can do this a little on low, then it's not so loud, but then we can run this camera forever, I think. How you guys like that? That is. Uh, <gasps> A thermal take USB fan that I modified a little bit only to get here this mount mounted in the center and then I can run my camera cool for hours if I wanted to and put the Yulanzi door on here and have it powered through USB too then I can record until the uh, SD card is full, no problem.